Good morning, Grace Church family. This is Pastor Don. It is April 2nd. Uh, it's in the morning. And uh, I just wanted to update you on a few things. Uh, talk about Holy Week here in a moment. But also talk about something that I've been reflecting on a little bit this week. And uh, one of my favorite movies and favorite works of liter literary fiction is Tolkien's Lord of the Rings books um, and the movies that were made a few years ago. Uh, and there's a scene uh, early on in one of the movies, Fellowship of the Rings, where a character by the name of Boromir uh, picks up the ring, uh, the, the evil ring of power that the whole book series is based on. And he looks at it, and it, it, is, it is something that grips people and grabs people and causes them to turn dark. And he looks at it, and he says, um, It is such a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt from such a little thing. And I, I've thought a lot about that scene, and I've thought a lot about those movies in, in light of the COVID-19 virus uh, pandemic that is gripped all of us right now and uh, that line it, it is such a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt from such a little thing keeps playing in my head and yet it isn't COVID-19 that um, is the real issue uh, certainly it is an important issue we must take our community's guidelines and our nation's guidelines seriously uh, and the physical distancing, while hard, uh, I think ultimately is going to be a good thing. But the reason we suffer, the reason we die, the reason we get sick, the reason for all of this is not ultimately from the little thing that is a virus. It is the little thing that has become an all-encompassing disease that everybody suffers with, and it's sin. When sin entered the world, uh, it did so much damage, and it's done so much damage. Uh, it, it's brought spiritual, it's brought physical death, it's brought separation from God. It is something we are all born with. No one has immunity to sin. No one can inoculate sin themselves. No one can recover from sin by their own works, by their own attempts to do good things. Uh, we call that the religious hokey pokey here at Grace Church. And yet, when we think about such a little thing, and again, that, those words uh, just kind of encourage me and haunt me, that is such a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt from such a little thing, sin. But those great words that are throughout the New Testament, we focused on these words last week, but God. And let me read for you Ephesians 2, 4, and 5. Again, I, I shared this last week. These words have been nourishment to my soul over the last couple of weeks. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Saved from sin. And, and we will all die physically but we will have something to look forward to because God came in the form of the person of Jesus Christ. And I'm so excited for the upcoming week. Uh, we call it Holy Week. It starts this Sunday with Palm Sunday, and, and we're going to study Matthew 21, verses 1 through 11 as a church family on Sunday morning. Hopefully you can join with us as we study that, the, the, the passage that of Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. And just to give you a little nugget, a little sweet nugget from that passage, that day before Passover was also known as Lamb Selection Day. It was the day where families who were there for the Passover would, would, would pick the lambs, uh, would pick their lamb that would be sacrificed for the sins of their family. So we're going to watch the Lamb of God come into Jerusalem, the city of God, and we're going to look at that passage. That will start our Holy Week time this coming up Sunday, 9 o'clock. Again, you can watch us online. Uh, a couple things that we're going to do for Holy Week. It's going to be a little different this year, of course. Uh, we won't be able to meet together for Good Friday or for Resurrection Sunday morning. 
Uh, but I want to encourage you that you'll get emailed uh, a little booklet. Uh, this is a, a devotional booklet uh, that uh, goes over a daily reading from Palm Sunday through uh, Resurrection Sunday. Uh, it is written by John Piper. It's called Love to the Utmost. And we're just going to encourage you to uh, download it and print it out, or you can come to the church uh, to the church building, and in the front by the front office door, there is a box where you can pick out a copy of this for your family if you're not able to print it or download it uh, from your computer. Uh, on Good Friday, uh, we're encouraging you to join with us at six o'clock. Uh, we are going to have communion, and yet we're going to not be able to be together physically, but we will be together spiritually. So I want to in invite you to go out and buy the uh, grape-based drink of your uh, preference uh, so that you can be prepared to partake in communion with us uh, as we do it online. And then also some bread. Um, the nice thing is, is for those of you who don't have a gluten allergy, you can go for the uh, bread that is full of gluten. And so I just invite you to pre-prepare that for whenever you watch the 6 o'clock service on Good Friday as we remember what Jesus Christ did, as we remember that God sent his son to deal with that tiny thing that has become such a big problem known as sin. Um, and then Easter Sunday morning uh, at 9 o'clock, we will be celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, his victory over sin, his victory over death. And so I want to invite you to participate in those, either live at the times those services take place, uh, or join with us even later. If you're not able to meet at 6 o'clock Friday or 9 o'clock on Sunday, you can certainly uh, watch it later uh, following the link on the church website or go to the Grace Church um, page on YouTube. So let me leave you this uh, beautiful sunny, sunny morning uh, with the last words that we have recorded in the Bible from the Apostle Paul. At the end of his second letter to the young pastor Timothy, he writes in 2 Timothy 4.22, The Lord be with your spirit. Grace be with you. God bless. I hope to see you soon in the flesh.